Hello world, this is your host, Melody Garcia. And I'm Janie Lacey. Welcome to our podcast, Life Unscripted. A podcast like none other, as we take you on a journey to share real life stories of some of the most iconic influencers in the world who had broken the scripts that once chained them. We will hear about their stories of breakdown to breakthroughs, golden wisdoms, and actions that took their life into meteoric levels. Our goal is to always provide our listeners values and applications that will allow you to live your best life. Welcome and enjoy our show. Happy, happy day. We are here for another episode of Life Unscripted, and we are super, super excited to have none other than Jason Cineros with us. Welcome, Jason, to Life Unscripted. It's my pleasure to be here. We have been uh, following your Facebook lives and, you know, as a business owner of eight years, I own a brick and border business and I have a staff of 11. When uh, Melanie Garcia had introduced me to your Facebook lives, I'm like, this is like worth a million bucks to me. <laughs> you have just, just so much um, great information and a lot of things I think to myself, I wish I would have known Jason eight years ago <laughs> because I probably wouldn't have had made as many mistakes as I've made, but all of those mistakes have been lessons and just kind of hearing some of the information that you have shared with us has just been nothing but an honor. Hello, Melanie. You know, I was just uh, sharing with Jason just how much I enjoy his uh, Facebook live (laughs) and how you have introduced that to me. Well, thank you. Thank you. And um, this is as unscripted as it gets. I was telling Janie, as everyone is trying to get a hold of me, that I was stuck behind a train. And let alone about just about two, two minutes into the decision of, I'm just going to do this from my car. You know, we've done that with the other guests. <laughs> when I do, it's whatever it takes. When people ask me, what do you do? It's whatever it takes. So I was texting him. I apologize for my, uh, my grand entrance dramatically as Melody is <laughs> Well, we're we're glad that you're safe, Melanie. Very glad that you're safe. Is there any other way to make an entrance? You know? (laughs) This is us. This is as much as the superstars of alignments can take. As the great Jason is online, Janie, uh, thank you for being your guest this afternoon. And I'm actually very excited because Jason and I have had a lot of social media interactions. You know, Mm -hmm. I, I, I love the fact, Janie, I don't know if you know this, but we are actually speaking to Superhero with a trademark named Bald Avenger. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that, you know, I'm an Avengers fan. So when I caught that first and for- foremost, I was like, like, what's his story, right? And we're going to be able to share his journey of breakdown to breakthrough in this podcast. As I said, I'm just really, really honored that we're able to share that. And we're going to talk about some of the things that are very near and dear to my heart, which is humanitarianism that Jason is boots on the ground, very involved with, and the project space that we have now been brought together. So I actually get to hug this man in person in February of 2019. <laughs> I'm not there's a divine alignment that makes him appear sooner than that. Yes. <laughs> you know, but, but this is Jason. And, it is. and then if that wasn't enough, and we're going to talk a little bit more, I'm going to let him talk about his life. From being boots on the ground humanitarian hero, as I call him, He's all one heck of a savvy businessman. And I'll let him talk about his business. Mm -hmm. The only reason I came to know that is I would jump on Jason's lot. You know, and when he started talking about net promoter score, when he started talking about Sig Sigma principles that I'm certified in, I was like, oh, and he's smart too. I mean, what a dangerous combination named Jason Snerros. So Jason, I didn't know how you know. Uh, Jason. Jason, you know oh, oh. As he would call it, more than a pretty face. <laughs> well, my, my mom always told but me I had a face made for radio, so that's a big compliment, so I appreciate it. <laughs> so, so Jason, for that is not super exciting. Not so. familiar with it. Yeah, so who you are, what is it that you do? Could you give a little bit of information about about who Jason is? Well, thank you very much again for having me on the show. I'm glad you made it. You know, I was so excited to uh, to have this conversation. I'm looking forward to seeing you in person. 
and you know, and Janie, I follow both of you guys' work, and it's it's very inspiring and um, very necessary. The 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 conversation that you all are bringing to the world is very very necessary. So congratulations on all you do, and keep doing it. Anything I can ever do to support, obviously I'm here. Um, you know, just the the short version because you know I honestly get tired of talking about myself. But for your audience that doesn't know me, um, you know, I, I think. It, and again, I tell my story not because I'm attached to it in any way anymore, but because it sort of takes away excuses, right? I mean, I think that you, you, you guys, uh, ladies, can probably both attest to the fact that any message that you attach to, it's because you see yourself in that person, that story, that message, right? And uh, and so that's why I tell it because you know there's there's a lot of people I you know I was adopted when I was young by. Uh, uh, a gentleman who was uh, less than a good guy. Um, you know, he broke my nose multiple times when I was a kid. Uh, I started stepping in front of my mom and uh, when I, at a very young age, somewhere between six and seven, and, uh, and taking her beatings as much as I could because she still got the brunt of it. But uh, uh, and then, you know, fast forward that life all the way to when I was 17, he, went, he finally got uh, caught and arrested for attempted murder. Um, of me and my mother and uh, the was sentenced to uh, like I think 33 years and uh, in prison so it was uh, that was that was good but then again like anybody else what do you do you follow the path that you were raised in and I knew how to fight Uh, obviously could take a punch (laughs) and so um, you know, I, I was in a world of, of drug dealing and, uh, you know, and collecting money and then, uh, you know, just had some really amazing people step into my life that believed in me when nobody else should have. And that has led down a path of starting companies. Uh, I've, again, it's a, I would love to come on here and say that I was, you know, the golden boy that was successful my entire life, but you know, that's, it's really, that would be incorrect. It's been a life of failures, but never quitting and doing my best to, uh, to not make the same mistakes twice, which has led to success, strangely enough. And, uh, you know, so, so that's, uh, that's where we are. And then I, and then I started uh, buying companies, started fixing them. Uh, I've got, I'm a turnaround specialist by trade. People hired me in the beginning because of my failures, not my successes. And I uh, didn't graduate from high school, so I have no fancy degree. Uh, and now, you know, that led into, you know, building up a portfolio of my own, uh, businesses that, uh, I've got a private equity business where we buy companies that are in trouble and save the jobs. And, and, uh, and then that led into philanthropy, which started with domestic violence, which is after my own heart, uh, that then led into, um, being asked to go, uh, undercover and do some, uh, you know, some, uh, recovery of underage sex slaves in foreign countries. And then that led into uh, feed a billion, which was the brainchild of Ambu's Jane and uh, Tony Robbins is a matching donor. And so those are the three main ones that I support, but I also support once a month, any charities that want to come and learn these principles about how to build out a sustainable, predictable model. We've got about 85 now that come to uh, a resource page that I just trained for two hours for free. We don't allow any selling. It's just value add back to about 80 other charities. Um, and that led into <laughs> the, the, you know, naming the bald Avenger, uh, which is a common comical way of approaching dark subjects. Uh, you know, it's the, the superhero uh, version of what we do. We've got a show that's launching and, and, uh, that's surrounded by the misfit nation, anybody that's made mistakes and uh, did, doesn't let that define them. And that's kind of brings you up to date on where we are. I think this concludes the interview of Life is True. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. Okay, bye. And we're done. This is Jason Cisneros. <laughs> And I love, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see the coffee mug that he just put up because yeah, it's this coffee mug. And so <laughs> he's got the Punisher ring too. So he's a very confusing superhero right now. And the <laughs> he's the bald Avenger that's masking as the yeah, Punisher. He was showing that, he was showing that to us, uh, Melanie, before we started recording. So I said he has to share the story around the skull. Well, <laughs> so you know, a lot of, it, 
it, it's a it's it's actually a very short very uh good story but there's when I was younger I mean everybody used to give me skull and, and crossbones because of the life I was living I mean I was you know I was thought I was a tough guy and and all that other kind of stuff well that led into all of the things that I do now and this ring you know is a special meaning uh to the work that we do in you know in uh, in rescues and uh, also the I, I gave it a different meaning for the skull it's representative of me dying to the me of yesterday and leaving all of that weakness bringing with me the strength so that I can build on that into a new day and uh, and not make the mistakes of yesterday so it's a very powerful very positive message for me now and in, in in my life so there you go we can write a book about his life just in this short time that we have with you this afternoon, because one thing that I will say, and I'm going to do the little formal introduction of the, you know, it, there's too much greatness to be contained in just one podcast. So I, I already know, and I know Janie will be in agreement to bring you back for a future podcast, um, that, that this is going to be a series of Jason's life, as we know it as the Bald Avenger, because the, the impact you have on humanity far surpasses a lot of folks that claims to be humanitarians. And we're going to discuss that, you know, in a second here. But just to sum it up, he is a public speaker, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist. He has covered over 3,000 stages, definitely one of the A-lister consultation companies that I've ever come across in the space of business industry. And I don't say that lightly. I saw that he did post something on his website that caught my attention and said, What I love most about speaking is creating that that momentum and being in assistance and service to the person who's looking for that one little thing to kick them over the edge. Mm. And that about pretty much sums up everything that Jason stands for. You know, um, he may have fun during his social media lives. He does call for the truth as he sees it and as he needs it. And he doesn't BS around some of the hard subjects that a lot of people do shy away from. But that's what makes him outstanding, you know, over excellence is that that authentic heart. And I appreciate you, Jason, sharing your journey, because sometimes in, in the grand scheme of social media, they don't know what you've been through. You know, that breakdown to breakthrough story of, of of you, your life all in, in danger, your mother's life in danger, and you having to go against basically the Fort Knox, the own persecutions of your life to get to where you're at so that you may also literally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in all realms, save other people's lives. And for that, I am so honored to actually have you as a guest, you know, uh, on Life Unscripted, because you have unscripted everything that is supposed to be a norm as a as a child that didn't have a high school diploma, you're not supposed to have, you know, reached the heights that you have reached in the business world. You know, as a person that was against the odds of a violent family um, environment, you're not supposed to have survived. Statistics were against you. Statistics were against you in being successful in the realms that you are. So can you tell us at what point did you say, you know, going back to your skull and bones theory and, 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 you know, symbolism that you wear every day as a reminder that grounds you, at what point in Jason's life with everything that was so negative in environment, you know, in all spaces, did you say no more? Man, that is a great question. And thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Um, what time do what, I think it's been a series on it. If I'm going to answer that question, honestly, probably the way that, that most people that have gone through, and there's a lot, right? My story is just one. I mean, you have a story. Janie has a story. Like there's been some amazing, I've seen the people that you've interviewed on here. And, and I, I think that there's been a series of no more. I'll give you one example. The, the same week that my son was born, Um, I got stabbed in the chest. I've got a a scar all the way across it. And it was in that moment when, um, because I'm not a particularly religious person, um, but it was in that moment, I heard the the message from my grandmother from the Bible when I, you know, I would be kind of uh, in my room for a while while my face would recover sometimes. And I had a Bible to read and I read it as not as a religious tome, but as a, a series of stories. Right. And, from my grandmother uh, and that combination, 
there was this thing that flashed in my mind, you know, as soon as the, the night.